your father was seduced by the dark side of the Force. He ceased to be the Jedi Anakin Skywalker and became Darth Vader. When that happened, the good man that was your father was destroyed. So what I told you was true, from a certain point of view. Luke, you're going to find that many of the truths we cling to depend greatly upon our own point of view. When I first met your father, he was already a great pilot, but I was amazed at how strongly the Force was with him. I took it upon myself to train him as a Jedi. I thought I could instruct him as well as Yoda. I was wrong. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. But your uncle wouldn't allow it. Thought you'd follow old Obi-Wan on some damn fool's idealistic crusade like your father did. Your father's lightsaber. It's the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic. Before the dark times. Before the Empire. A young Jedi by the name of Darth Vader, a pupil of mine before he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. Darth Vader betrayed and murdered your father. No, no, you have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. You think monkeys, mosquitoes, and lions are bad? That's just the beginning. I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. Things you can't even see. There are creatures that hunt you in the night. Something screams. Then you hear them eating. And you pray to God that you're not desert. Afraid? You don't know what afraid is. My plan was so simple. That have frightened even me. First, I had to acquire the death mass, and then I had to achieve his death. His funeral. Imagine it. All of Vienna there. Mozart's coffin. Mozart. Little coffin there in the middle. And then, in that silence, music. A great mass of death bursts out over the wall. A great mass for Wolfgang Mozart. Composed by his devoted friend, Antonio Salieri. What passion, what depth, what divinity in the music. Oh, Salieri has been touched by God at last. And God forced to listen. Power is reduced, powerless to stop it, and I for once in the end laughing at him. How does one do that? Hmm? How does one kill a man? Very easy to dream it. 
very different when you have to build it with your own hands. <laughs> 